Uh, but the aviation standards meant there were a lot of parts which weren't up to aviation use, um, but would be just fine in tanks, which is where Meteor came in. Um, so at the start of the war, the British reasonably sensibly limited their high performance engines to aircraft use because planes were more important than tanks. Um, most of their aircraft engines were crap, so they were very lucky that Rolls-Royce had produced the superlative Merlin. Uh, Merlin powered the fighters, it powered the bombers, uh, it was in very high demand. And Robotham realised that the requirements of aviation engines were extremely high. And, you know, that's for a good reason. A failed engine in a tank means the crew has a long walk home. Uh, for a plane in the air, it means both the plane and the pilot are likely to be lost. Uh, but the aviation standards meant there were a lot of parts which weren't up to aviation use, um, but would be just fine in tanks, which is where Meteor came in. And um, at one point, they were literally pulling crashed hurricanes out of hillsides and stripping the engines down for use in Meteor. Uh, so factory duds um, and then just aviation engines that had um, reached their hours and would require an expensive overhaul could just be turned straight into a, a meteor engine and a tank and a brand new one gets installed in the plane. So that was um, a little bit of a breakthrough for the British that suddenly meant they had high power engines available for tanks from about 1943 onwards. So that thinking of finding expired air engines to use in other military uses um, continues to this day.